Do you want to know how to save $200 a month on food and groceries? I'll show you one of the best ways to save money by sticking to your budget with the cash envelope system. Hi, I'm Shayna, and I save $200 a month on groceries by doing the cash envelope system. And I was able to pay off $42,000 of my debt even faster than I would have if I didn't use the cash envelope system. If you're interested in videos like these, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I put out future videos like this one. A lot of people have had major success using cash envelopes because they've been able to use it to stick to their budget and make sure that they are staying on track with their expenses. So let's talk about how to use the cash envelope system. So you'll use cash envelopes for anything that is a variable expense. So variable expenses are things like gas, food, clothing, vacations, car insurance, and entertainment. So you'll figure out what those variable expenses are that you could use the cash envelopes for. So you'll set up your envelopes based on your pay schedule, the due date for an expense, or the budget that you allocated. So I get paid on a monthly basis, and I had some weekly envelopes for food, and I also had some monthly envelopes for gas. And it was important for me to set up weekly food envelopes because I knew that food was a weak point in my budget, and I wanted to have a lot more control over that part of my budget. So I broke up the amount that I budgeted for food into weeks so I wouldn't overspend. So you wanna think about how you want to divvy up your envelopes and you'll do that in various ways and whatever works for you. So when you're ready to create your envelopes, you'll first want to consult your budget. If you don't have a budget, I'll, I will link a video that I have on how to create a budget in the cards. But you wanna make sure that you consult your budget before you do anything. And you'll also wanna think about how you want to divide your envelopes. And if you're doing weekly envelopes, you have to determine how you're setting up your weeks. So your week could be set up based off of day to day. So for example, a week could be from Wednesday to Wednesday. You could also decide that your weeks would be every seven days on the calendar, or you can determine that you'll do it by pay weeks. So figure out what works best for you. And most months have four weeks, but also remember that some months have five weeks. So if your budget for food is normally $200 a month, you would normally put like $50 into each weekly envelope. But you could decide to increase your budget in months that have five weeks to $250, or you could decide to keep that amount the same and instead put $40 a week into each envelope. So once you have your plan in place about how you're gonna do these envelopes, you need to actually get envelopes. So you can get fancy envelopes or you can use plain envelopes. I use plain envelopes. And then once you have your envelopes, you'll want to write the category um, the week or the dates and the amount of money that is going to be put into this envelope. You might also want to consider adding a ledger if you like to keep track of how much money is in the envelope. You'll also want to consider things like adding names of your spouse or your children if they're also going to be using the cash envelopes to stay on budget. So what's one thing that you think that you could use your cash envelopes for in your budget? So like I said, I use my cash envelopes for food and gas, but you can use it for a variety of things. And some, some people even use their cash envelopes for sinking funds. So if they're going on vacation or they're saving up for um, expenses in their home or whatever. So write down in the comments, drop down in the comments and tell me what you think one category that you can use the cash envelope system for. When I was using the cash envelopes for my food purchases on a weekly basis, I would try to ensure that I ended up with extra money because the whole point of this is that you wanna save, right? So after the week was done, I would take the remaining amount of money that I had in the envelope and I would just hide that money. So I wouldn't be tempted to carry over money into future weeks. And then by the end of the month, I end up with a lot of extra money that I could put towards debt or savings. So you could also decide to give yourself a raise from week to week if you had leftover money. So you would just take that leftover money and from that one week and then add it to the next week's envelope. However, I think it's really important that we challenge ourselves with our spending and to make sure that we spend as least as, the least amount of money as possible. 
So I would encourage you to hide the <laughs> remaining amount of money that you have in your cash envelope. And then when you use cash, you also end up with a lot of coins. And I used the coin bank to save the coins that I had. When the coin bank was filled with money, then I would take the coin bank to the bank and then deposit that into my bank account and then transfer that over into pay off debt. And so that helped me also in order to like save money. Another key tip that I think about these envelopes is that you want to potentially hide the other envelopes. So like I said, I had weekly envelopes for food. And so I would only take the first week's envelope when I was going to go grocery shopping for that week. And then I would hide the remaining envelopes because I didn't want to be tempted. Like let's say if I was in the grocery store and I wanted to buy something extra that wasn't on my grocery list. If I had these extra envelopes sitting in my car or in my purse, I might be tempted to pull out $5 or whatever from that envelope. And so by hiding the envelopes, then I was able to stick to the budget that I set in that one envelope for that week. You might also want to do the same thing with your credit cards or your debit cards to make sure that you aren't using um, your debit or credit card to cover any extra expenses that you don't or that you can't cover in the cash envelope. There are a lot of pros to using the cash envelope system because it really sets your priorities. So like my priority was paying off the most amount of debt as possible, as fast as possible. And it also keeps you accountable to your budget because you have no choice but to not overspend, especially if you have like these micro budgets like I did with the weekly envelopes for food. Once the money is gone, you have no alternative to, but to stay on top of your budget, especially if you aren't using your debit or credit card to bail you out for other expenses. It also builds your discipline with your spending because you aren't going to be able to impulse buy because you have such a limited amount of money already set aside for these categories. And if you use that money for other things, then <laughs> you're like out of luck. Also, it allows you to save tons of money because like I said, you start to want to challenge yourself towards spending the least amount of money possible because like I know from week to week with my food budget, I kept thinking of, okay, how can I save even more money this week? And so you end up saving more money that you can then either just save for an exciting vacation or whatever it may be, or add it for investments. But like for me, all the money that I saved went towards my debt and I was able to get out of debt that much faster because of these envelopes. So there are tons of pros to using the cash envelope system. Although there are tons of pros to the cash envelope system, I actually stopped using the cash envelope system because I thought it was at times hassling and time consuming and that it could pose somewhat of a financial risk. And that's mainly because you have to go to the ATM to pull out money, which I don't ever pull out money. And I also found that I always had to remember to take these envelopes with me anytime I decided to go shopping. And that meant that I couldn't at a moment's notice decide to go grocery shopping. I would have to pre-plan and make sure that I had the envelopes with me. And so because of that, I started to keep the envelopes in my car. However, that's a financial risk because this money isn't insured by the bank. If someone were to you know, break into my car and steal these envelopes, there is no way that I would be able to get this money back. I tried to find an alternative to the cash envelope system and I tried to figure out how I could do it digitally. And so I started to think about how I can use multiple bank accounts or even credit cards to figure out how to do a digital version of the cash envelope system. However, it didn't really work out that well, but I found out that Simple Bank actually has a digital version of the envelope system kind of built into their bank system. So they have these two features called the goals and the expenses features, and they pretty much function like digital envelopes. You can set up expenses for like food and gas, and you can also have goals for saving for sinking funds or for, you know, just investments or whatever it may be. 
and they function just like these envelopes do but you're able to keep everything online in a bank that's insured and also be able to swipe and make all your purchases so i've been loving simple bank i've been using it for a few months now and i have been able to stick to my budget even though i'm swiping my car for all my purchases because they have this whole envelope digital envelope system built into it so if you're interested in learning more about the digital envelope system i have a video that explains more about that and i'll link that in the cards and if you're interested in checking out simple bank right now if you use my link that's going to be down in the description box you can sign up for an account with simple bank and they'll give you 25 dollars for opening up a simple bank account and i'll also get 25 dollars as well for you opening up that account so i highly advise that you check it out because i have loved it and i don't have to worry about going to the atm anymore and i can just swipe my card but also stick to my budget which is the whole point of using these envelope systems i hope this video provided some practical tips on how to set up and use the cash envelope system and maybe you've decided that you want to stick to the physical cash envelopes or you might be interested in using a digital version of the cash envelope system but whatever version you choose to use, it will help you to stay on top of your financial situation and possibly pay off tons of debt like I did. And I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up because it'll not only let me know that you like the video, but it'll also let everyone else know that this is a great video to watch. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to drop down in the comment section below and let me know which categories in your budget that you plan to use the cash envelope system for. And remember, you don't have to use the cash envelope system for every category in your budget. You could choose to use it for one or two or maybe even all of them if it fits your lifestyle. But drop down in the, cat in the comment section below and let me know which categories you plan to use the envelope system for. And if you're interested in more videos like this one, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I put out more financial videos like this one. And I really appreciate you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.